Hello and welcome to the Online Lesson Educators. Today we will be learning how to read and write numbers up to 1000 in numerals and in words. So let's get learning. We mostly see numbers written in numerals. This means the symbol that we use when reading or writing anything to do with numbers. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. However, these numbers can also be written in words. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, let's have a look at some two digit numbers. Thinking about our previous lessons on place value, two digit numbers should have a digit in the tens value position and in the ones value position. If you need a recap on place value, check out the video on this channel. Okay, so here are some two digit numbers written in numerals. Remember this means the symbol. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Can you write these as words? Pause the video here to have a go. Good luck. So we just looked at some two digit numbers written in numerals and your task was to write them in words. Let's see how you did. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Fantastic work. Let's look at some more numbers written in numerals. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and 1000. Remember, 100 is a three digit number and 1000 is a four digit number. Can you write these numbers as words also. So this time we looked at some more two digit numbers written in numerals as well as a three digit and a four digit number. Again your task was to write these numbers in words. Let's see how you did. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 101,000. Well done. I think you're ready for the next challenge. Let's make this a little more challenging then. I know you're ready. So, look at these numbers. They are also written in numerals. Can you read these numbers aloud with me? 79. 794, 7,946. Can you see how important place value still is? Each of these numbers start with seven, but we read the number differently depending upon its place value position. Can you write these numbers in words, just how you said them out loud? Pause the video here to have a go. Okay, let's see how you did. Here's the answers. 79, 794, and 7,946. Okay, now it's your turn. Try to write these numbers as words. Remember to say them aloud and write in words what you say. Pause the video here to complete the task. Time to check your progress. Six, 
twenty-six, seventy-four, seven hundred and forty-one, two hundred and thirty-six, two thousand three hundred and seventy-one, one thousand two hundred and fifty-nine, and four thousand six hundred and seventy-seven. Keep up the great work. Let's move on. Okay, let's now try some questions the opposite way round. So instead of reading the number as a numeral and writing the number in words, we are going to read the number as words and write the numerals. So let's look at these. 216, 509, 726, 2,153, 8,811. Remember, saying this out loud will make it easier and you may also want to use a place value chart. Okay, let's go through the answers together. 216. The words 200 tells us that this is actually a three digit number. It's important that you know how many digits is in the number as it makes translating words to numerals easier. It also allows us to know how many place value positions we need to consider. So the first number would be two. You can pop this into your place value chart and then we have and 16. 16 is the same as 110 and six ones. So the one goes in the tens position and six goes next. 216. This one was a little trickier. Say it aloud with me. 509. We know this is a three digit number and that there are five hundreds, but the next number we can say aloud is nine. Is this nine tens? No, that's right, because then the number would be 590. We have to place a zero in the tens place to hold the value of the number. Therefore, the answer is 509. So the next question was 726. Again, the 700 tells us that this is a three digit number and that the seven should be in the position of the hundreds column. So we place that in there first. Finally, we have 26. 20, so two tens should be in the tens column and six ones, giving us 726. Seven, two, six. Our next question was 2,153. The words 2,000 is now telling us that this is a four digit number. 2,000. Therefore, a two should be in the thousand column on our place value chart. The next set of words is 100, telling us that there is one lot of 100 in this number. So one goes in the hundreds column. And then we have and 53, telling us that there's 50 five tens, that should be in the tens column, and three ones, giving us 2,153. Two, one, five, three. And finally, that leaves us with our last question, 8,811. Again, the 8,000 is telling us that this is a four digit number. So we are going to be looking at the thousand column first and it's telling us that there are eight thousands in this number to start with. So we're gonna pop the eight in the thousand column. The next set of words is 800. So even though we've got eight again, it's of a different value position. It's 800 this time. So we're gonna pop another eight but this time in the hundreds column. And then we have 11. 
and 11 is the same as 1 10 and 1 1. So we're going to put 1 in the tens column and 1 in the ones column. So the answer here is 8,811. So 8, 8, 1, 1. Well done. And that is it from the online lesson educators today. Thank you for joining us. Please come back and visit the channel for more lessons. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And always remember to believe in yourself 